It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the, in the game, it's the Buffalo Bills and the Seattle Seahawks. Next on Madden Football. We are in the Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at Lumen Field here in the Soto District of Seattle. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And off we go from Seattle. And coming out of the end zone, D. Eskridge. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. First carry here for Ken Walker. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Now just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll try for the first with Walker. And they work this well up field across the 35. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Walker now on first and ten. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Taron Johnson made the stop. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. On second down, here's Smith. He'll find Eskridge here complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now two yards to go on third down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Up the middle, here's Walker. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge.
On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Well, the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. But when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. That's good. The completion there for seven yards at its second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Now second and three. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. And meanwhile, Allen's throw complete to Hollins, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? force a punt on defense and now they're moving it crisply on offense crisply i like that like yeah that? yeah moving it very very well looks like the defense on their heels a little bit you put a score in here long way to go but you're right that's a heck of a start yeah and i think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying to have that dagger play to have that play and just finish them off right now because i think they'd love to gain that big advantage early and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Samuel for the completion. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 25-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Here's Allen to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got room to roam. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 13-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now here's Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown. Buffalo, Mac Hollins from 13 yards out. And the Bills will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. 
An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From the end zone, here comes Eskridge. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. They always say the real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Geno out to throw. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Smith. Field. Loose inside the 30. DK Metcalf. And he gets it all the way down to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Walker. Going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Again, Walker. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Kenneth Walker, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. On that sideline, they're saying that was more like it. The first down run went backwards, that time into the end zone. And I like their little bit of courage and play calling, too, because after an unsuccessful run, especially one where you lose yardage, you oftentimes go right to throw in the football. They came right back with a running play, and it paid off handsomely. Extra point up and through by Myers, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And that would 
too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll show the defense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And they will take over first and ten. Throwing now is Gino. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Straight ahead, Walker. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Throwing on third down, Smith. Being chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. A gear for Walker running right. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 50 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Here's second and three. They'll fake it. Now Smith. He lets it fly for Lockett. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, here's Smith. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 38-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. And this all incomplete. 
He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. On third down, here's Walker. And he will have the first down at about the 21-yard line. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. They run again with Walker. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here. Second down and a yard, as they've got it as we resume action. On second down, it's Walker. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. The running game's played a huge part of getting them down to this point on the field. I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone, keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with what brung you. Here's Walker. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Second and goal from the one. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now Smith on third and goal. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. Four yards on the touchdown, Graham. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Myers connects on the PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7. So a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. This will be caught. It's Samuel. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. 
but it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do in that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Allen finding Shakir across the formation. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Up the middle, it's Cook. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, Cook shifts by him. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Here's Allen on first and 10. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Cook will take this over the line. Touchdown, Buffalo. They go I formation. Fullback leads the way for the touchdown. Sort of a lost art, isn't it? It really is, but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams, they're not prepared for it. They haven't seen it in a while, and now you gain an advantage, and we just saw that advantage result in a touchdown. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And we've got a good one, Bruin. We're all knotted up at 14. That time, a six-play drive. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now a run with Walker. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 103 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. This guy is well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Smith. Over the middle, finding Smith and Jimbo. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in the yard. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. 
Ball on the 39. Here's second and a yard. On the handoff, this is Walker. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing is Smith. And that's DK Metcalf running the slant. He's got it. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Second down and three. Now Gino. Now this a quick slam to Lockett. And Lockett going to pick up the Seahawks first down as he'll get it down inside the 25. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. On first down, Smith. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That'll give them eight that time. And they'll be left with second and a couple. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And Walker once more. And power running here down to the six-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. From the six now on second and three. Smith now to throw. Touchdown, Seahawks! DK Metcalf from six yards away. And the Seahawks are going to take the lead. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well-executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. Now Myers for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's DK Metcalf who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. the touchdown here's Myers to boot it away and he'll elect not to return this one so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback and here come the Bills as this offense comes back out here Charles they're trailing in this ball game and they've been on the sideline for a while they did score their last time out but they just had to watch that long sustained drive so we'll see if they can shake the rust off yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Allen off the play fake. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Defense! 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 
Here's third and six. Allen now looks to throw. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Returnable for Lockett. Found good room to run there, returns at 14 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Time for another look now at Geno Smith and the Seahawk offense. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. Second and six. Now Smith. That is taken in by the tight end fan. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. Going for it all. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. They'll set up a throw. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 16. They pick up 12 on the play there and they move the chains. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Smith. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. Just a gain of a couple there, and that'll make it second down. And I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. To throw on second down is Smith. Completes it to Fant on the right side. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Throwing again is Smith. Going right back to Phillip. 
And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now it's Smith. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right, not to be. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Throwing now is Geno. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Touchdown! Dwayne Eskridge from six yards away. And the Seahawks will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for, they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. And will take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Allen now on first down. That's Isabella open on the right side. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Again, they'll throw with Allen. A sure throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. To the air, Allen. 
Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. After that throw, it was definitely one that he would love to have back. I wonder what's going through his head. I wonder what kind of mind game he's playing with himself to get himself back on track. Because a lot of guys, that's what they do. They have little triggers that when the mechanics are off or if they make a bad throw, that they go to that place to get themselves back in sync. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. The kick by Bass is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. This taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. For the Seahawks in the first half, they were led by their quarterback, Geno Smith. He lit up the skies with three first-half touchdown passes as his guys were rolling in the early part of this football game. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. On play action, Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be a third and about 13. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 
He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Allen to throw once more. Open man is Samuel, complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and it brings up third and five now. To throw, it's Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 39. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Wide open receiver, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Curtis Samuel, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Bills are back within a score. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two, they don't get a tough there, good pass, hit the hands, he just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere, seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back... Maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Sticking with Walker on second down. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Here's third and nine. 
Smith now to throw. He lets it fly for Lockett. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. The returns on the last drive, pretty good. Seven for seven, touchdown pass. Probably take that, right? I would say so. I mean, when you're cutting them apart that way, feeling so accurate, so confident going downfield, and then able to culminate by putting it in the end zone, oh, yeah, he's feeling real good right now. Now he'll try to carry that over to this drive. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Again, it's Cook. And he'll earn a couple of tough yards past the 30 to the 31. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. 51 yards on the punt there. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 15. Hands it to Walker to begin the series. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Smith. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Ed Oliver that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Like how they started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. Third and long. Now Geno. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And out will come the offense as they take over. Curtis Samuel and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the 48-yard line, here's a second and seven. Now Allen. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is tackled in 
inside the 40, not quite to the 35. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, and he's got a first down. Allen now looks to throw. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he was unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now Allen throwing on second down. The right side here caught by Kincaid. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash, dropped at the one. A big play that time on the catch and run, and the Bills will move the chains. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Khalil Shakir from a yard out and the Bills have retaken a third quarter lead first and goal forget running the football forget establishing anything just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown oh yeah I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there they weren't expecting that and that totally goes against type doesn't it when you think first and goal from the one you're thinking running play and now Sean McDermott's made the call they'll go for two Allen will try to throw for it. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. And in the third quarter here, they were trying to push that to a three-point game, but instead it'll stay at one. And I'm a big proponent of not chasing points or going for two too early. But in this case, I understand why. You know, if you kick an extra point, you're just up two, yeah. right? So field goal still puts the other team ahead. So you go for two here and protect the field goal lead. They didn't get it done, though. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. DK Metcalf of the Seattle offense about set to take over once again. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but... Hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Play action. It's Smith. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him. But still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Throwing on third down, Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage. Get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards. Turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. Now Gino on first down. That's D.K. Metcalf running the slow. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. 
On the give, it's Walker. He's got it to the 43 here. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. It's caught. Lock it. Two yards on the pickup there. And it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing is Smith. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And they move this all the way down to the nine. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. This will be caught at about the five. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running. And he's across the chalk, into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Ken Walker, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. And he is not going to make it. So they won't be able to move this lead up to a touchdown as it'll remain a five-point ball game. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And now out come the Bills. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in the tight one. The drive starts with a completion, left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Oh, 
After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Allen going to throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete as well. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Here's Sam Martin now. He's been terrific so far. Now it's Lockett. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Now a draw play. It's Walker. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. 161 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in third down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Sure, young situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they're just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Smith on first down. A quick throw there is incomplete. The intended receiver was D.K. Metcalf. And that'll bring up second down. Toss left side for Walker. We're down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That good for 22 and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Back to Walker on first down. And brought down there by Taylor Rapp. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Here's second and seven. And going right back to Walker. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Well, now, after all of this, hang on here, because he appears to be shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment.
So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to put him a touchdown and a two-point conversion up. Myers' kick is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An unfortunate time for the penalty there. That cancels out a positive play from this offense. Well, not to sound too trite or too accepting, but you and I both know it happens. You got to accept it and move on. Yardage, you got to get back. Focus on the next play and move on. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's Allen to throw it. Setting up the screen for Cook. And the ball is knocked out. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Play action. Now it's Allen. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Second and ten. Cook up the gut. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. So much of the game today... We're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart, took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And now they'll throw with Allen. That's Samuel caught left side. 
These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Motion man is Shakir. Allen now on first down. That one tipped and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively. And it's second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive took a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settled things down a little bit. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. To throw, it's Allen. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. So well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Allen off the play fake. And it's caught. And he's brought down. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. To the air, Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown. Buffalo, Khalil Shakir with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And we will get another look at Seattle's offense. 
And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts to roll this opportunity? Or what do you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot. Because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. But he's a bigger, stronger guy. Maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. As to you said big third down, I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Here is third and five. Now Smith. Left side complete to lock it. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They'll try for the first with Walker. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Allen and the Bills now down by two. A minute 44 to go. Needing at least 40 yards you'd have to think to have a shot. To throw is Allen. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. They'll try again here, second and ten. Now Allen. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him and it's incomplete. You're not going to get many better opportunities than that to take the lead in the fourth quarter. He's got a man wide open. Oh, my goodness. Just too much air under the ball, and he knew it right away. No tougher place to be in a spot like this than Seattle. Here's third down. Throwing Allen. That's caught by Shakir, and he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. No timeout, you gotta go quick here. With plenty of time to work with here, but the timeouts, they're gone. Here's first and ten. Here's Allen. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. 
It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Now second and four. Allen. And he fins him off. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught. That's how you put field position. What a play right there. That nearly went the distance. Credit this defense for not giving up. They get him down just short of the goal line, but the damage is done. It's going to be first and goal from an ideal position. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. On the return, it's Eskridge, and he'll bring it out. Well, this one, partner, was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. So that'll do.